see it grabs in there there we go so as you can see this window trim for the rear uh, glass is pretty chipped in certain areas it is faded looks almost like a, a grayish um, there's a lot of dirt in there of course but anyway if i want to make this look new again i have two options and of course the, the e easiest one i think is to just mask the whole area sand it down and give it a, a couple of coats of paint however the second option, which I think would be actually easier uh, because there would be no masking involved, is to try to remove the trim. And um, let me give that a shot and we'll see what happens. So there are certain tools intended just to remove trim pieces. And not everything is going to take care of the. Uh, of the rear window trim but i think something plastic would allow me to lift this a little bit and uh, or these type of pliers also do a similar job as you can see they help lift the trim a little bit so i may use a combination of tools to do that because what you want to do is reach behind the uh, the trim between the, the glass and the trim there are clips here and I watched a video and I'll try I'll, I'll try to provide a link to that video because it was very helpful that basically shows you how to remove the uh, the trim by using one of these tools. You can buy them usually in a package of four. These picks uh, and awls are available from Amazon, Harbor Freight, and other places. So let me set up the tripod and let me see if I can free up at least one of the clips. Oh, and before I forget, there's also, and I'll provide a link, there's a special tool that is supposed to do the same thing. So it's a pair of pliers that have jaws that basically loosen the um the grip of the clip against the uh the trim piece i have not used those i've never seen one other than the uh the picture i saw on amazon but they're very similar to to these this of course is going to be challenging to film because of how these things are positioned in here but what you want to do basically is look from this side again the clip holds on to this side of the trim and if you look in there sometimes you can actually see the the clip i think there's one right there and According to that video that I saw, you can actually run this thing until it grabs the one end of the clip and then pull up. There it is. Okay. So far, I have two of these. flashlight may be a good idea okay so I loosen a, a couple of these so that's coming off and we're just gonna Keep doing this. There. 
doesn't take a lot of pressure to release the uh, the trim. Good. There's so much stuff in here. Accumulation of leaves and other stuff over the years that is makes this job a little more challenging. I don't th I don't think there's a clip in there. But again, there's so much stuff, kind of hard to see. That one released. Just gotta keep finding them. And sometimes they're pretty hidden in here. So it's been a, a good 20 minutes or so, and you just have to take your time because you want to release these things, these clips, and I'll try to give you a better close-up once I'm done removing all of this. Down here, it's going to be a little more challenging because this is pretty tight against the glass. I don't want to start cracking things or breaking anything. So I think I see the clip down there. But anyway, it's going to be it's going to be challenging. Let me see if I can set up the camera in a way that you can see at least part of what I'm doing. I think the clip is down here. And what I'm trying to do is go in with this hook sideways, parallel to the glass and the trim and trying to grab on to the, um, to the clip provided it's, it's, it's there. There's so much stuff in there. Yeah, I can see, I can see the clip. There we go. That is very rewarding. I have another one. Another one somewhere in here. What I do sometimes is run this thing until I hit something. Yeah, I think that's where it's at. And if you position this the right way, it doesn't take a lot of pressure really to uh, to bend this thing to get it to spring and release. See, it grabs in there. There we go. And now I have to do that corner. I think I have one more to go. And that's it. Wow. I got it. Okay, so all the clips release the trim. And there it is. And you can take this thing apart, and I will do that, and I'll show you the uh, how this works. But these are just pressed in here, as far as I can tell. See? And it's a good thing that I removed it, because this is beyond filthy. So let me put it in a safe place, and uh, I'll be back in a sec. So as you can see, there's years and years of stuff in here, just leaves and tiny little branches, dead bugs, that sort of thing, which is to be expected. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, and then I'm going to go over the, the clips.
and how many there are. So if that helps one of you guys, if you're trying to do a similar job or you need to replace the, uh, the glass, you're going to have to go through this exercise regardless. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is just use a regular old brush and loosen some of the stuff that may be caught there between the uh, glass and the, and the body and get that stuff to um, come off. The reason I'm doing this is before I vacuum this whole area is because if there's something loose in there that I don't want the, the shop vac to, to absorb, this gives me far more control. As you can see, there's plenty of stuff here and it only gets worse as you reach the bottom of the window. And I may have to go over it after I vacuum with a smaller brush just to get as much of that stuff out of there. Anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so I switched to a smaller plastic bristle brush to clean around the, uh, the little edges here and especially around the uh, clips themselves. And again, you're going to run into a lot of this dried up um, adhesive they use, but you, it'll, you can just vacuum that off. That helped a little bit, but I think either goof off or alcohol will really take care of the rest. So this is the area that I, I just cleaned compared to what the rest of the edge looks like. Not too bad. Okay, so I cleaned the glass the best I could. There's still water spots, and uh, that needs a different type of treatment. But I gave it a good cleaning, and I even waxed it a little bit. But anyway, I wanted to show you these clips here. These are the ones that hold the trim in place. And if you look close here, I think you can, I hope you can see, there's like a little tab right on this side here. Let's see if I can put a better light on it. Right there. And that little tab is what secures this piece. Now, if you look in here, this one has a certain shape. And this lip here, that's where the tabs secure the, the trim piece. I'm just gonna gonna position it here just so you get an idea. So here you have a clip and this let's say that is seated in place there. All you have to do really is just push in and it clips. So again, to rem to remove it while this is installed, that's why you have to pry this up, get the tool in there, and get it to release. So again, put this to secure the trim piece to the to the glass and the body all you do is you just snap it in place simple as that so the way these things work is and that's why i believe that tool and i'm going to provide a link what that tool does it's very flat and it reaches in here and since it's pliers all you're doing is pushing this out and this is what we're trying to mimic by using one of these cheap tools is grab 
behind the uh, the tab and pull it away. So what I discover is if you get it in there right, you can actually push it outward. It doesn't take a whole lot and it will release the uh, the trim. Okay, so there are 21 clips and these are attached pretty pretty well. They're not going anywhere. I really have no idea how they're secured, but it doesn't matter. I'm sure there is a way to release, to get them out of there if, if you need to replace one. I don't see that being really necessary, but these are fine. This thing is not too bad, but there's a lot of chipping around the edges, which is normal. And other than that, this thing is really dull, but a couple of coats of paint will take care of all of that and it will look a lot better. So I'm going to wet sand it next and then give it a few coats of paint. I'm still debating whether I should go with the glossy. I think I'm going to go with the uh, satin finish to keep it kind of original looking. Okay, so this is about 15 minutes in the uh, kitchen sink. I sanded all these little pieces and the bottom edge. So I think it turned out pretty, pretty good. And uh, I just used some uh, wet 320 and that uh, that worked fine. So next I'm gonna give it a coat or two, especially around the edges of primer. And maybe I'll coat it with uh, some black just to get the, uh, the process started. Okay, so I've been spray painting the, this long piece here and it's looking pretty good. I still have to give it one final coat, more of a dusting really. To give it an even look and then i'm gonna have to um i'm gonna let it cure for several days these i painted about i don't know five days ago or so and they're fully cured what i'm gonna do before i reinstall everything i'm gonna put it back together and then i think i'm gonna with a paper towel i'm gonna kind of burnish the paint a little bit to give it a little more uh, of a of a softer finish right now there's always going to be a little bit over spray and maybe some texture that doesn't look good so burnishing the paint is going to help that it's going to give it a nice sheen as well i believe so again this is my current status with the, with these pieces again this one needs just a final coat and then i want to allow it to cure for several days and then i still have to prep and paint this very long piece here, which is the um, the bottom piece goes um, around the um, the window. Put it here so it's safe. And that piece goes perhaps around the, the bottom edge of the of the rear window. And I'm also planning on, on polishing the paint before I reinstall everything to avoid any staining and God forbid scratches of the um of the freshly painted trim. Okay, so I'm getting set up here to do a little sanding. And it looks like it's going to rain any minute now. So I'm going to 
give it a once over with uh, 400 grit paper and hope for the best. And of course, like most of you guys, I hate sanding. And in case you're wondering, I uh, I use this two-in-one filler and sandable primer. And I think the trick to, to doing a good job with this is also to allowing the, uh, after you do the wet sanding, is to let this dry properly. If you have the time to let it kind of air dry for a day or two, that's the best. Oh, did I mention that I hate sanding? I also want to make sure that you sand very lightly around the um, any kind of shape this trim may have. So that way you avoid kind of rough, rough areas after you um, you paint the piece. Okay, so this is ready for paint. I think I got it really smooth where I want it to be smooth. And um, I think I, I mentioned before, the paint that I use has a little bit of primer in it, so that's not a concern really. And uh, I'm going to give it a couple of maybe two or three coats of, of black paint. And then it should be ready to, for the whole thing to be put back together. And like I did with this one, I'll just burnish the paint a little bit to give it a very subtle um, kind of sheen to it. So it looks kind of factory. I'm going to start spraying in a few minutes. Weather is good outside, so I'm going to do that next. This is really etched in there. And I'm guessing they repainted this door at some point and they just smashed it because there's just too much of a an etch there. So I'm gonna try to polish it a little more with this compound. I don't know if that's gonna do really anything, but got nothing to lose here. This is working a little bit. Okay, so these are my tools of the trade. Cheap $30 polisher. It's one speed, I think. Yeah, and uh, I have in addition to the uh, cutting compound, I'm going to use a polish, and then I have this, never actually used it, I bought it years ago, 3M uh, liquid wax, professional formula, so that probably means that it's, it's better. And uh, I already used the cutting compound by hand, and uh, oh, there's an improvement. The paint was very, very dirty, and there are a lot of a lot of little chips and stuff like that, but um, whatever. That uh, nothing I can do about that unless I start 
touching things up. But next, I'm going to use the uh, the polisher and uh, and the polishing compound, and we'll see what happens. So, just so you guys know, I have very little experience uh, detailing things. I I try, but uh, I'm no expert. So, I may be doing stuff that is not ideal and you can comment below let me know but uh, i am doing my best so i'm just gonna use this um polishing compound next and uh, hope i get some decent results so The thing I really dislike is when you use these power tools, you get splatter everywhere. So, oh well. I don't know if you can see all of that um, product all over the, uh, the glass. I hate that. <laughs> but I guess it, it doesn't hurt anything really. Additional polishing compound. I don't know. So anyway. Oh yeah. It's bringing it back a little bit. So that is encouraging. And I know with uh, white cars, it's almost impossible to tell. But it is looking a lot, uh, well, first of all, cleaner and shinier. So that is, that is very encouraging. Well, I know it's not professional equipment, but let me tell you that helps quite a bit. And uh, I haven't even waxed it yet. So this is really, really cool. So this is as far as I'm going to go with it for now anyway. I am um, somewhat happy with the results. Looks a lot better. It's a lot cleaner. But I don't know if the camera will pick up the, uh, the mess someone made here repainting. And I'm sorry, I don't know how much of this car was repainted or if the whole thing was repainted, which is, I don't think it is, but who knows. But some areas, I mean, it looks like they rolled the paint on it. I mean, it's pretty pathetic. But anyway, um, as a driver, I guess it's okay. But um, anyway, I, um, again, for the most part, it looks pretty good, especially for a white vehicle. And when I'm ready to uh, do the final detailing, you know, I'll, I'll go over it again. But uh, there's nothing I can do about those kind of scratches under the finish. That is horrible prep work. I mean, it was done, I don't know by whom, but uh, someone who had no idea. So anyway, I'm going to set up things now here so I can start reinstalling the, uh, the trim, which is the whole idea for this video. Okay, so what I did here is I have some soft towels all around the perimeter, around the window, and on top here, and you can see I already have the trim piece kind of just sitting here. Because I'm gonna next, I'm gonna bring in the, the big piece and connect it to this thing, and then start uh, pressing the um, trim into place. That should just snap in there. So that is next. So let me show you what I did here. This is the uh, trim piece. It's completely painted and it should be dry 100%. I, I have it as not touching the, uh, the drywall. I use these little push pins to keep it 
away from the uh, from the wall and also to uh, to hang the uh, trim from from that and that worked really really well So now what I have to do is get this thing to connect to this one here. I'm gonna go one little bit at a time. I'm gonna do the other side next. And I wanted to share something with you guys because I think it's important and really helpful. As you're reinstalling this, even after you've painted the uh, the pieces, you can almost see the line where the, um, when it was originally installed, it almost made an indentation. And as you push it in, you almost feel it. It doesn't click in, but it feels like that. It just goes so only so far, which is great because you want this to be, you know, installed properly so everything kind of fits right. Yep, it just goes only so far, which is great. Okay. So far it's looking really good. Just wanna position this properly. We're still looking good. And there we go. Two, three, four, five, six. to push it a little bit at the end just to make sure that everything is lined up properly. That is it. Wow. I need to push a couple more in here. Yep. Oh yeah. Beautiful. Let me bring you in. So there you have it. And again, the, as, as you probably noticed, the paint is really far from, from perfect, but those little details can be touched up. And yeah, sure, I could have done those before reinstalling everything, but uh, you know, at some point you want to be done with this. I'm really happy how that, uh, see up here is um, really chipped. But what an improvement, huh? Yeah, this is great. It, it is a job, I'm not gonna deny that. I mean, <laughs> you're gonna, you're gonna probably cuss a lot if you decide to do this. But it's uh, it's worth the uh, the trouble. If yours is in bad shape, you may want to follow the same or a similar procedure. Again, I'm no expert, so but I do I do at my own risk. But uh, everything is clipped in place, as far as I can tell. It's looking really nice, 
and uh, we are done with this project. Wow. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time.